Right, um, just quick farting around. I'm uh, not doing much tonight. I'm just having a very, very quick uh, play around for, with something. Just, uh, I'm actually practicing double tracking, so um, to try and get my um, stuff together. Um, what's the word? No, it isn't that. <laughs> All right, my name's Ian. Um, welcome to my home studio. I'm uh, not vlogging any film, just doing a bit quick recording exercise tonight. There's no one opening of boxes or software reviews or anything like that. I'm not into that stuff. There's a plenty of other channels for that. I'm just streaming myself, recording live, going out on three platforms. Um, the usual, the big three. Uh, I don't answer the chat, so there's no point putting anything in the comments. Um, I haven't quite sussed out how the hell that bit works yet. So uh, anyway, um, I've just got a guitar part I've just didn't put down. I'm just going to attempt to see if I can play the same thing again, <laughs> which is usually quite difficult for me because I'm, uh, I tend to fly by the seat of my pants and don't play the same thing twice. So uh, I'll see if I can get a, a double track guitar on it and... Uh, So immediately I've forgotten what the uh, first part was, so uh... Right, so I've got two double, sort of double track parts. I'll quick listen about how they actually sound. <laughs> Okay, that sounds reasonable. It's probably miles out, but uh, I mean, all of these guys who can um, shred it to two hundred miles an hour and uh, do these complicated riffs, and uh, it's all in sync. But um, you listen to the album back; it might have took forty takes to do that. But uh, allegedly, the um, intro to um, uh, "Sweet Child of Mine," the doody doodle little that took to slush. I believe it was uh, 36 attempts to get that right or something. So, uh, there we go. Right, I've just put um, the old uh, CLA on it just for um, something to... I uh, think I'll whack the input of it and uh, put a just bit more distortion on it and... Uh, Press it a bit, take a bit of the bass end out of it because I'm uh, I've been listening back for the from the stuff I've recorded recently and it's very, very bass heavy. So I'm trying to um, nudge the bass back a little bit, make it not quite so muddy in the bottom end, right? Let's have a
Right, we've got a base part of sort. So I'm not too fussy, it's just a, a recorded exercise just to work on. I'm just playing around basically, as I normally do most nights. And we're just going to quickly add some bits onto this. Let's turn that. Um, the reason it was buzzing, I've just pulled the uh, cable straight out. Right, let me see what I've got now. I'm just going to um, take the pan control here and. Uh, what I want to do, um, I'm actually recording in stereo, so I'm taking the combined panner and uh, dropping that down to um, collapsing the stereo image, basically, either side. I might have to turn it down a bit in the um, channel strip, because as you collapse it down, it goes a little bit loud. Just take these two um, channels. They're both the same patch out the Kemper. I'm using uh, Michael Britt's uh, Marshall patch. So I'm just going to uh, I'll quick link these two channels together. So what I do to one happens to the next one. I'm going to um, immediately put a. Uh, even though I when I do my patches, I always um, put a cut on them. But just in case there's a little bit uh, showing there, I'm going to cut it from about 70 hertz and I'm just going to take it down a couple of 3 dB. No, right, so I've got a little bit of a cut on there on the base just to uh, keep it in order. Cut, uh, I'll do a, uh, it's a shelf, that's a shelf two, shelf three is even lower, shelf one is even lower. Oh, oh you change it on the cue, can you? All right, let me take this, I want this cut up to about 60. Actually, I don't like this EQ at all. Well, I'm just going to get rid of that one. I don't like the EQ. I'm going to put the old uh, frequency on it. Sad theory. Too many S's. EQ, frequency. And I'm just going to put a, uh, a 12 dB cut at uh, about 60 hertz. I'm going to put some back in later on. It's just to uh, give the kick drum somewhere to live. Oh, okay, for a laugh then. Right, let me um, just for the fun of it, let's get old Hallian up. And uh, what have we got in here? We don't want a piano. Let's have a, see if we can get a fine organ sound of some description. I believe we have somewhere purple drawbars. Pretty good one. That sounds a bit like the. Uh, 
Very much the one from Mr. Lord. Of course, nothing happens when you haven't got nothing uh, in monitor mode. Let's try the child organ. <laughs> Right, now I've got to find out, um, let's put some more drive on the rotary, is this, um, Right, I'm just going to suss out what that riff is on the keyboard because um, I'm not um, I'm not the best at playing keyboard. Right, so so we go. What was I playing? Do, 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 do. Right, this is this is the time where I put my guitar back on and um, try and work out what that is. D, D to E. So we've got a D to E. I need to play it somewhere else tonight. Uh, drop it an octave. That's a B. Right, let's see if I can get We need some howls of derision. Oh, that's terrible. Oh dear. Yes. I always call myself unprofessional musician. <laughs> right. Right, I think I've got it. Let's see if I can play it at speed. Well, I think I'm going to leave the riff part out of it, and and because I can't play it, I'm simply not good enough. No your limitations, so I'm just going to play the chord bit.
I think I need to take that up an octave. Control all. Uh, and where is the da, 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 somewhere? Da, 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 transpose. There we are. We want to go plus twelve. And we're going to push 12, enter, All right. That sounds more like a bloody uh, a sheep coughing or something in the background to me. That um, keyboard sound, I do not like that at all. So uh, that does not sort of blend in properly. So let me try another. That'll be a note. No. I don't want anything organella. Try organella. Right, I'm getting uh, rapidly bored of trying to put that keyboard on. Um, so let me just, uh, let's just go from there and just do the bits I need. Right, I'm just going to um, loop that for some to noodle over. Um, those people who watched my channel before will realise um, the whole point of me doing all this um, uh, playing around, practicing, recording is just to make them my own. Um, Backing tracks to noodle over those at least, so um, that's essentially what I'm going to be doing. So, um, let's get all this lot lined up. I don't know if I'm going to keep that. Uh, 36, uh, no, there's a strange number of bars I've done. Uh, 
as per usual, I can't count. All right, let me just close all this lot down and um, grab these lot and uh, I shall extend it out a bit. Oh, I highly just dropped it in the right place, that's right, and let's do the same thing again. Let's see how long we've got. So, have we got a sufficient for a lot of self indulgent twiddling for the sake of it? Because that's what I normally do, it's just self indulgent twaddle. So, uh, right. Let's, let's see how it uh, loops. So, if I can get up to, towards that bit there, I don't have to play through the old lot, just want to see how it loops. Well, it loops almost seamlessly, so uh, there we go then. So, how long is this uh, little picture? It'll be three minutes twelve. Right, let's log it off. Right. So we had some more guitars, it's had a bit more uh, harmonic interest. The uh, just for the fun of it, uh, let's um, get a wet guitar on it. Put the old uh, Mr. Stratocaster back on. This is my um, this guitar's a 1988 Stratocaster. I've uh, hot rodded it with some Seymour Duncan's fat struts and a, a, a JB in the back graph tech saddles and underneath the saddle it's, it's all been dremeled away for a nice radius for the strings to go through this um strat doesn't suffer with the stratocaster syndrome where you tend to break the uh the strings because they're graph tech saddles you lit i can i can literally leave the strings on this until they uh, wear through i'm not one of these people who keeps changing their strings every uh week i'd just prefer them to settle down into the the tone what they're going to give you and uh, leave it at that so uh, that's what i tend to do with my guitar strings is just um, just clean them and, and uh, scrape any skin off the underneath the old plectrum and uh, take it from there really so uh Right, let me see if I can uh, put some a little bits of harmony or something in a bit, make it a bit more.
I've just noticed me um, rebutches about today, so I'll just uh, just change that. And note to self: don't wear horizontal stripes on camera because it makes your uh, makes you look even fatter than what you are. So, oh, what's my? Um, let me just uh, turn that off. Um, shut up. All right. Let's turn that back on. There we are. I've got to put a new battery in it. Well, not new battery, but... Uh, right, where was I? Where was I? I was in the middle of, middle of making an energetic noise, weren't I? So, an energetic noise. Right, let me um, just pan these a little bit to get a bit of separation on these. What I laughingly call harmony guitars. Stupid little man needs to be there. There, right. Sorry about this, I'm having a uh, bit of a nightmare tonight. Right. Right, um, I'm actually um, losing my way with this, it's rapidly getting out of control. Right, let me just do that other harmony the guitar on there, and then uh, that will do it. Useless, come on, wake up. Wakey, wakey! We went from about there, and right? One more. One more. One more.
Right. Okay. Um, how long are we doing this? 32 minutes. 32 minutes, right. 32 minutes, right. Let's go for... Um, let's just see if I can get these rhythm guitars to sit properly. So once again, uh, take my uh, stereo combined pan out and collapse it down because it's coming out of the Kemper in stereo. So I'm going to collapse it down a tad. Uh, that one's gone reverse phase, but I don't really matter. And uh, same to that one. And let's do that over there somewhere. I'm going to stick this in view. This one. No. Ah, lost control. That's it. I'm losing control. Right, let's see what we've got now. I might turn these. We just uh, control click these ones again. Control that one. Control that one. Quick link them together. And then I might just turn these two down as well. Have a go at uh, doing a little bit of noodling over the top. Stick this on loop and have a couple of little noodles over the top of that just for the sake of it. Um, what I tend to do, so what I'm doing now, I'm, um, I'm sort of I'm practicing a bit of guitar, I'm practicing a bit of bass, a little bit of production, and that sort of thing. Um, practicing streaming. Half a time I haven't even got the microphone, you'll see your mouth moving away, but no words coming out. Because <laughs> I keep forgetting to turn the mic on and off. It's, it's off when it should be on and on when it should be off. So, uh, and, uh, right, let's have a quick listen to that.
Uh, to be honest, I'm not really... Uh, I've really got the right guitar sound. Let me just uh, see if I can find some... Uh, that's me cranked. End of the sound. <laughs> This platform. Oh, it's flipped it completely off the end of my table. Let's say I didn't like it that much. It's just uh, it was a little bit, um, a little bit too.
right, that's enough of that. Ow! The howls, the howls of derision. I can't take it. Uh. Anyway, if you caught this, uh, catch me doing this. I'm just, uh, I'm just fighting around. I'm not selling anything. I'm not flogging anything. Um, I'm not doing any unboxings or anything like that. You're just watching some old bloke farting around in his studio. Some old bloke who's not particularly good farting around in his studio. But, uh, Right, once again, rabbit into myself, no microphone open. <laughs> Absolutely useless. Absolutely useless, right. Zoom out. Zoom out. Okay, zoom out. Right. We have two takes of this, haven't we? I'm going to use take one. And uh, I think we're going to have to do some judicious fading out on this over the last 15 seconds because it, it, uh, it is what it is. Right, let me see if I can uh, do a very quick mix out of this right let's just solo that and the drums the drums are nothing special i might add some more drums second who knows might miss. So that's near enough for what I want to do. Um, <clears throat> right. Work your tires. Stick the SSL on them. Because everything went through an SSL back in the day. Uh, SSL. Do, 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 do. These are links, so whatever do to one is going to do to the other. And once again, I'll just make sure we've got no extraneous stuff going on. Right, so I've got my wet guitars. Um, I'm also going to, um, while we're here, whack the old um, tape on them. Other tape.
and what I forgot to do was um, let me just uh, check these. Yeah, we've got tape on them both, haven't we? Yeah. No, we haven't. I didn't link them, did I? There we go. See, I always pay I used to check. All right, tape. Oh, it's the wrong one. Wrong one. Don't want that. We want tape. Deep tape, tape. Right, we've got tape. And I'm going to put the SSL on that one first. Just the same SSL. Um, two. And same with that one, just uh, stick a bit out of the bottom end, leave somewhere for the bass and the kick drum to live. Uh, so let me see what we've got now. That's that one, that's that one, that's that one. Right, let me uh, get this right this time. These two guitars, control click, quick link. What I do to one happens to the other. Same with that SSL channel strip. Channel strip. Uh, where are we? Do, 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 do. Wax them out the bottom. And put them through tape as well. Tape. Oh, fucking hell, I didn't say anything again. Useless. Got no mouse control. Oh, so they're both going through tape. So now if we take a fin out solo, I'll probably add a uh, effects channel. Yeah, let's put rev. Plate. That's right, one of them. Yeah, right. And we'll add a, another one. Back track. I want the parallel aggressor this time. The one I tried to put on to my uh, guitar bus for some reason. Parallel aggressor, there we go. A track. And I'm going to take the dry level down, crank the spanks and the heats up, put a bit more heat on it, a bit more spank on it, preserve the loo, etc. Extra smack, extra hot. I like extra hot. Right, so let me just turn that off there. So I've got that going to there. And see how much I'm hitting, how hard I'm hitting this compressor. I might have to turn it up and down a little bit. I'm just uh, hearing something then, right? So, me four wet guitars. I don't know what I've linked them together for. I'm going to add a um, group channel to these and just call it Riff. Because I can get a hold of that now. Uh, the bass, I'm going to uh, put that through a little bit more saturation. Through the saturator. Not too much. And I just want to sort of it in there. Um, 
Det var det all in there. Du, du, du. I thought I turned the uh, keyboard off. I have now, I've muted it. Right, the guitars, I've just got to put it through the... Uh, took a tiny bit of the MV2. Just uh, bring that down, bring the highs down a bit. And again, um, the bass, let's just get that, uh, that under control. I don't know what to mix on the headphones. I've probably got these headphones way too loud. So I can't hear what really we All right, dynamics. Put the... Uh, sun off that one, that one. Not that one. I wanted that one. I know it's only a drum loop, but uh, just going round and round. But so this is just a uh, just a quick exercise. I'm going to whack that through some tape. For this time, I'm going to use. Um... Let's use a J forty seven. drums themselves uh, they're going through the j37 i'm also and now i'm going to send it to the uh parallel aggressor The uh, parallel aggressor, I'm just um, changing the zone where it is, so all, all my effects are at the extreme right hand side. So that's what I've just done there. A bit of the rhythm guitars into the uh, row plate just to give them a tiny little bit of um, ambience. Let's turn it down and just introduce it. <laughs> Uh, 
and as with the um, drums, I'm going to send a tiny little bit of that into uh, the Abbey Road chambers, just to give that a bit more ambience. <laughs> Right, lead guitar. Let's squash this down. And I'm going to send that to. Um, not first of all, I'm going to stick that through the uh, SSL as well. Channel strip. And once again, because it's a lead guitar, I'm going to do quite a do some of air cut at the bottom end of it. And then put that into tape as well, just to get that uh, vibe. I do. <laughs> And once again, the uh, lead guitar, I'm going to put it through the uh, MV2 just to bring it up a bit and uh, level it all up. <laughs> Of us, I'm going to do all the same again. So, right, because I'm shit at mixing, which I freely admit to, I like some people, I'm going to stick it through a cool fuss to uh, recover and tame for me. I know it's like about 40%. On the both. Uh, the thing about this golf is this little uh, thing on the what's it left, the extreme left one. You've got to bring the bias up until the it's virtually disappeared, like that. And then the algorithm, and then you can see from here, it's going to need perhaps brightening, is it? Or is it darkening, uh, brightening a fraction to bring it to. Well, the people who designed this program have analysed um, loads and loads of great records and done a sort of computer model of what our ears like to hear. Uh, so, Gulfos, up to the SSL, just to correct everything, and then I'm going to do the same with this, put this onto uh, tape. Uh, what am I looking for? Tape. Create with tape. And I'm going to put it on mastering. Big and open. It's the one I prefer. Is it clean and open? I can't remember. Clean and open, yeah. So that sounds like this. <laughs>
uh, to me that uh, I've got these headphones way too loud. Um, way, way too loud on the headphones. It's probably uh, compressed my hearing, so I'm now not hearing properly what it should be like. And then the final bit I normally do is uh, I've got this way too loud and it's a shite mix. It's a shit mix. All right, the final um, thing I do when I'm uh, cranking things up for in the car is uh, put the old uh, Oxford inflator on it. And this will uh, put some more harmonics in down here. And this will pump it up. Yes, a little bit of a hammering there, stolen directly from uh, Gary Moore. And why not? Why not indeed? The great, late, great Gary Moore, God rest his soul. Very influential on my uh, early playing. And, uh, I think what I need to do, that's... Um, Plate reverb is I'm going to do the uh, Abbey Road trick on it and on the pre. Just uh, takes the middle and the highs out, stop it getting nasty. I might do the same to that one actually. Just uh, stop it muddying up too much. Did 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 out there. An epic. Which epic are we on? All the sound. Right. Let's change that to. Did did. Um, so the two, I'll do. Uh, right, oh, how long is this? An hour twelve. Oh, way too long spending doing this. Right. Right, I'm just going to export it like that now. Well, export. Audio mix down, and we're going to unimaginatively call this one Deck Nineteen. What the hell is that? Looks like hieroglyphics. Deck. Fourteen. Okay. Right. Export this. See you in a minute.
I knew it was going to do that. I knew. I just knew. I just knew. I knew I had to change my buffer size. I normally run it at um, 64, and it has no problem exporting. So, right. Try again. Anyway, right. All right, that'll do for me tonight. I've uh, had a little play around, a little, uh, little fart around, as I say. That's all I do. Uh, my name's Ian. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and all that bullshit if you want to see me um, play not very well on another night. <laughs> I don't care. I really don't care. I'm not vlogging anything, I don't do this for a living, I'm just literally uh, just some old bloke fighting around in the studio uh, who happens to be streaming what he's doing at the same time, so uh, if you like it, like, subscribe and whatever, if you don't, I cannot, I cannot, no skin off my nose, so I'm very uh, self-depreciating anyway, so uh, <laughs> I thought that was shite, <laughs> If you like it, like, subscribe, and catch catch me making a fool of myself another night. Right, see you later. Bye now. Let's have some howls before we go.
Howl, howls, the howls of derision. The howls, I can't take it. Oh no, my sensitive ego. I can't go on Twitter because if money as I go at me on Twitter thinks I'm an idiot, but I'm not, I'm not really. Alright, bye now.